Hi, Brandy here again. This is video number two. In the last video, I was talking a little bit about mindset at the end, so I just want to keep that flow going. And I'm going to do that by reading something that was given to me on breaking the curse of poverty. And this is actually um, like God speaking to you on um, exactly how poverty is more of a mindset than it is a current situation. But anyway, so it says, Breaking the Curse of Poverty. I am removing a poverty spirit from you. A poverty spirit keeps you trapped. Beloved, poverty is not about economic deficiency. Poverty is not connected with how much money you have or don't have. Real poverty is the acceptance of meager possibility. Beloved, did you know that there can be a poverty of imagination? A deficiency in courage? A lack of personal vision? A barrenness in the will that keeps you beaten down and passive. Real poverty is accepting the limitation in being governed by lack. There is no lack in the kingdom of God. My people convince themselves that they lack resources. But the reality is they do not go out to meet my provision. They take no steps of faith. They wait for provision to come and they become disappointed because I have always put the provision one step in front so that as you move out, so you move in. I have placed provision not where you stand, but in the place you are about to tread. It is before you, beloved, one step ahead of a poverty mindset. I say to you, Never let yourself be defined by externals like your bank balance or your resources or your environment. Be, de not, be defined internally by my permission and then such as you will and then such as you have, I will always multiply. Do you see it yet? How much I love faith, which only works by love, my love, how much I love obedience, how much I love courage. You may sit there and say, the Lord never makes it easy for us. That makes me smile because it is not about easy or hard. It is about trust and faith and knowing my nature. I am faithful and true and that I always come through, but I use circumstances to teach you how to walk and how to stand and how to press in, how to believe. It's not about easy or hard, beloved. It's about knowing my ways and learning my ways. It's experiencing the joy of living, standing against the odds and overcoming. There's a joy in that. There's a pleasure in that. There's a beauty in that. That's what I would seek for you, that you would know me in the challenges. And beloved, if you really knew me, it would not be a challenge. That's the whole point. If you knew me, if you knew what I was really like, it would never be a challenge. It would be an absolute certainty. No place for doubt because you would know me. Surely I will come through. Surely I will be with you. Definitely, certainly, certainly, absolutely, completely. My heart has always been yes and amen. Always yes and amen in Christ. I put you into Jesus so you would have the thrill of not just having your needs met, but discovering your inheritance. That resources would flow to you because you know how to stand in the right place and believe me. So, beloved, I want you to rethink your assumptions about what is or is not. Rethink them in the light of your favor and permission with faith in my intentionality. I tell you this, your personal assumptions will either defeat you or inspire you to live in me. Beloved, I want you to take ground in my permission. Enter into agreement with my intention. You should understand that I am not letting you go. You may walk away, 
but I will never let you go. You may abandon a high place and a high life, but I will never stop wanting you to succeed. Teaching you to want this life as much as I want you. Teaching you internal harmony with my purpose. That is the basis for all spiritual warfare. To succeed, to win, to overcome, to conquer, to contend with the enemy using your promises. This is awesome. My beloved is not passive. My beloved is not passive. She is one who can apprehend. Did you know that the purpose of warfare is to reveal your inheritance? It opens up new territory. In the place of battle, I want you to stake your claim. Take that territory. There's a piece of territory out there that's got your name on it. It is wherever I have placed you. It is your inheritance. But I am not claiming it for you. You have to do that as in the great land rush of old. Stake your claim. Say this is mine. My place, my land, my territory, my ministry, my prophecy, my blessing, my inheritance. I am taking it. I'm staking a claim. I'm holding it. I'm going to occupy it. I'm going to use it to be a blessing to others. Oh my gosh. This breaking the curse of poverty writing, it comes from um, Prophet Graham Cook. Um, he actually must have spoke this at a conference in April 2009, but this is so powerful and I read this on a regular basis to help change my, my mindset. And I, I mean, God is just really revealing himself and, and transforming me because I am truly convinced that I am a millionaire, that I no longer live in, in, a, in a realm of lack, in a, in a, in a realm of you know, lack of resources. In fact, the team that I'm on is just one example of God showing me that resources are abundant. Um, well, that's video number two. I hope you enjoyed this. I actually have a blog about this that I will, that I will post alongside this video. And, um, you know, it's all typed out so that you can, you know, print it out and, and read it regularly yourself. All right, take care. God bless.